Hi guys! Welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we will do some beautiful designs. They have been requested by you and that's the uh, jeans look. You can have a preview of them in here. I made it a little bit elegant with the touch of the white lace, lace and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you do, let me know in the comments below as I'm looking forward to reading them all. Let's start! We are going to play with some jeans design um, and I will show you how to achieve this look. We will do a few different designs so I've got my tips ready and um, on the first one I'm going to paint the skin color and I'm going to use 217 flower garden. I'm actually I don't know why I didn't use this color before because it's fantastic uh, if we want to have those kind of um, natural looking uh, tips and the coverage is amazing. Um, so as I say, like I'm so surprised I didn't use it, it uh, before. Now for this design, like um, because I want to have the skin texture, I'm not trying to make it perfect and uh, application of the gel polish. Um, so the one layer is absolutely enough. I mean, it has a good coverage in a one layer uh, as well, but that's kind of look I want. And then I'm going to give it a cure. Uh, on the second tip, we are going to go... Um, less uh, of the skin and half of the jeans look. So I'm just going to paint half of my tip this color. I'm not 100% fussy how the line looks because it will be covered anyway. And then give it a cure. And on the third tip, we are going to paint the entire uh, jeans design and I'm using 201 for it. So remove the dust and paint this color. Again, actually because I've got white background uh, in there, I will try to don't paint it at, uh, well, evenly. <laughs> okay, so I actually want those brush strokes, so I'm pressing really hard because that will speed up my design. So even if, you've, if you're painting it on the client, you can still have those uh, see-through places. And then I'm going to give it a cure. <coughs> On the tip which was painted half, I'm going to do exactly the same. And just keep it at imperfect. <laughs> And then in here, because we are going to have some ripped, ripped gin, jeans, uh, I'm going to um, paint around it. So I want some place this color. It was just easier for me to paint it the entire tip. You could also do it opposite way, but I want the hole in there.
And that's a nice and decent size hole. Again, um, don't be fussy. Actually, you want this messy look. You can even go with your brush and kind of drag it in a little bit. And that will speed up the design process. And then give it a cure. So you can see we already have those uh, um, lines like which are indicating there is a hole in there. Okay, our next step for this one. So on this one I will do some lace, uh, but first of all we need to add some texture. For the texture I'm going to use the um, white French gel. And also we will need a scoop of this as well for um, painting the lace part. I actually had some uh, jacket and a trousers which was exactly the same uh, with this lacy look. So the French gel is so highly pigmented. I want one scoop for the lace and then the other scoop I wanted for the jeans look. And for the jeans look, I'm going to, just uh, because I like different shades, I'm going to add the uh, gel art blue. Just a small, you can see it how, how nicely pigmented the, those gels are, like really highly pigmented. And what I'm doing is I, I'm having a scoop of it on its own, plus a scoop which is mix it with the white. And I love it like when we're mixing it with the white, what a beautiful shade of the blues which you can, uh, we can achieve with it. Okay, so I want a few different, few different shades on this side. And then using the one stroke level one brush, because uh, it's quite a decent size brush, uh, I'm going to pick up this mixture which we have created and I'm going to go very, very messy, just like this. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm creating those jeans texture. Okay, you can also go into this darker one. So just pick up a few different, few different shades and just touch it with your brush, very easy and quick. Then with the G-liner, we are going to go opposite. So I'm picking up the lightest, um, the lightest blue which I have created. Like make sure you've got your brush into a nice and straight line. Like I'm working through my brush and then we are going to do a couple of those lines. Hardly touching it, like almost no touching it. Like very, very quick, but almost no, no touching. You want to add those texture. You can see it, we already have created some texture here. Okay, so hardly any product. If it does happen that you have painted two strong lines, just go through it a couple of times and it will blend it nicely. Okay, so this way we have created a nice jeans effect. We also need to um, or maybe I will do the belt. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do the belt on this one. Uh, so yeah, that will be pretty interesting. And the belt I want in the... So that will be a skin. Okay, I want the belt in a white color. I don't want to introduce too many colors. So the belt is going to be in white. So using the D-liner, I'm picking up the white. And I'm going to start painting the belt first. So this will be my belt here. I wanted it to be quite decent because we will do the clamp in there. Okay, after the belt is painted, I'm going to, this is just a background for the belt, we are going to give it a cure. Oh, and then we can have fun with this one. 
So I'm just picking up the same mixture, all sort of different blues, and I'm just going over it. I'm pressing with the brush quite strong. Because I don't want too much of it. And then using the D-liner brush, we are going to add the texture. So again, lots of lots of lines. Don't worry in, if in some places you've got hardly any product. That's what, actually what you want. And then this on the sides, uh, I'm also dragging it into the skin as well. So I've got some uh, broken parts of the jeans. Okay, just go over the skin as well. Picking up the darker color. This is too strong white, so I'm just going in into the darker color again. Blend this uh, strong line because it's far too strong. And then we are going to concentrate on the middle part. So I'm going with the white now. And the slightest drop of the blue, like the tiniest uh, drop of the blue uh, ever. And then we are going to um, paint the middle part. So usually when we've got um, the ripped the jeans, these bits and pieces are much lighter. And I'm painting them like lots of those wee little lines. Okay, we also want some part half broken, so I'm just uh, picking up the medium brown, uh, medium blue, and I'm going to do the part in the middle which is almost connected. With the drop of the original color of the jeans. and white. So you want some strings to going through the entire hole, very thin ones. And then more of this white. You can see it's already starting looking um, as we want it. So the more you play with it, the nicer look you will get.
three, keep going. Then clean the brush and we are going to paint just slightly stronger, uh, stronger white. So I don't want any mixture of the blue now in it. I'm picking up the smallest amount ever and I'm going to paint like a really strong white lines. Nice and thin but strong white, just a pure white. Okay, so these are the, the single strings which holding everything together. So this way we have created a whole jeans. <laughs> Ripped the jeans. and then give it a cure. Okay, here because we've got the belt I also need some part with this blue so I'm just going to pick up this blue on the uh, D-liner brush and we are going to paint it some parts of it on the top. And straight away I'm just trying to create some um, jeans texture as well, just for a quickness. So I'm having a little bit of the uh, white mixed with my blue. Okay, that's plenty. Give it a cure. Oh, we were supposed to do the lace. Oh no! Okay, I'm, I need to show you the lace, guys, uh, as well, because I think this looks fantastic. Yeah, because I, I have done the belt on the tip where we were supposed to do the lace. Uh, so I will just do it opposite uh, because you could also do it this way as well. And we are going to um, have some hole with the lace for a change. So I'm just picking up this color. So this is going to be a hole with the lace. Obviously painting opposite is much easier. But my original plan was different, okay. And then straight away, at the same time, to save it the time, I'm just going to add the jeans texture here. couple of the lines If 
you feel you have done two strong lines, you can always go uh, back with this uh, dark color and just apply it through it. And then give it a cure. Okay, this one is completely ready, so I'm just going to apply the top coat over it. I actually like those uh, ripped jeans look. <laughs> and then give it a cure. Okay, this one is cured, so we can move on into the next step. And this is going to be um, adding those um, ripped kind of look as well on the sides. Not too much because we are going to paint the lace, so you don't want too much of it. So just a little bit. Okay, almost there. And you have to paint everything you want to paint because the lace will be, um, we want the lace to have the texture and we, uh, and be a kind of 3D uh, look. So we need to do it after we apply the top coat over it. And because lace is so elegant, that's why you don't want those ripped look to be strong. Give it a cure. Actually, just before I cure it, I will quickly add a tiny bit more of this color, just so I've got better coverage over the blue. Because normally you would do opposite way. Okay, the belt one. So we can move on into the next step with the belt. And I will be wanting some parts of this belt here, be gold. And uh, we need to do also the bucket as well. But in the middle, uh, we need to now paint um, with the black, actually maybe, yes, so let's do black. So black and blue, the original one which we have used. really really thin and then we are going to paint like a wee small line in there okay so tiny line this is going to be the place where the zip is And you want this line to be here on the top as well. Also, we need to do the holders for the, for the belt. So I want one in here. and one on the other side. And there. OK, 
Okay, inside uh, those uh, black line which we have painted, we are going to do some little white lines. And then we are going to give it a flash cure because we need to um, cure it the place which holds the, uh, the belt. <laughs> Okay, give it a flash cure and we can also top coat this one and give it a cure. Okay, the belt part is ready, so I can paint uh, same black lines and then white lines. So black lines. And also, you can see it, this is a middle, so on this side we should uh, should be able to squeeze uh, like almost like a wee pocket. And on the other side as well. White. And then whiten here. Okay, I need to clean my brush because it picks up too much paint. And then we want to also do it on the top as well. So I'm picking up the black. Clean my brush and then we do, I don't know the word for that, this white stuff. So I will learn another new word. Cameraman is searching and translator. Stitches? I don't know, needle stitches? <laughs> okay, so we have uh, put some stitches in there as well. <laughs> Yeah, I think it is stitches. I don't like, that's what I'm assuming. But anyway, let's give it a cure to it now. And this one is ready. I actually love this look, uh, this one. It's quite simple to do it. My, it looks very effective. So we are going to place it there. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the lace design. Oh, come on. I'm going to show you the lace design so you can combine yourself as much jeans you want and, and then the lace. So the top coat is cured and this is a no wipe top gel. And now we are going to paint 
lace. So I'm picking up the French gel and it is okay to be used with out of top coat. Uh, I'm painting quite thick to start with. Okay, so we are painting like a wee rose. Then triangle. But wavy triangle, so you want to have also some empty space in it as well. Okay, so this is my empty space I'm creating here. Half a moon triangle shape. Clean my brush and like when I'm cleaning, I have really rolled it because um, now I want to do some lace inside it. Then pick up another one, do wavy look. And then create those empty space so we can place some lace in there. Okay, add those lace. Another one. And we are going to make this one quite long and quite big so we can see those uh, lacy design quite well inside. You can see it, I'm kind of shaking when I'm painting those uh, shapes um, because I want them to be irregular. Ah, got some hair there, clean my brush. And then do the lace. And this one, because it has a decent size, I'm going to add some line in there as well, like this. Okay, for the balance, I need also petal from this side. And the tiniest one ever on the top. Okay, clean my brush and then do the lacy design. Once we have painted the rose, we have to add some leaves. So again, more product in there, wiggle, And we have painted a leaf inside the leaf line and the line is going to be thick, this one in the middle. And then we are going to add lots of small lines like this. So it looks like a lace. Another leaf in here. A line and lots of little lines. So for little lines, I'm cleaning my brush. I have no product on my brush and I'm kind of dragging on what I've got left, okay? Now, because this cannot fly um, in the air, we need to connect that uh, to the hole which we've got. So I've got the tiniest amount of the product and I'm just dragging it to the jeans side. Okay, so just like a wee little lacy lines. Because things cannot fly inside. Okay, so this way we have created uh, some lace inside. And now I'm going to sprinkle it with the sugar.
you can do any type of lace. I just wanted to do the rose because I have done it on the uh, other chip and I know guys you would really want to know how to do it. <laughs> so that's why I pick it up the rose. Give it a cook. And now let's move into the belt because this one is going to be involving quite a lot of work. Still. Okay, clean the mess. Okay, the belt, the belt. So the belt needs to have some holes in there and we are going to paint them in black. Don't use your brush for it uh, because it is really, dots are very damaging to the brush. So I'm picking up my dotting tool and I'm going to paint some dots, dot in there. Now the bucket is going to be here and it's going to be quite decent size, actually the dot. In there. Oh, I should do it. Wipe it off and I'm, we are going to do the dots from the other side because I've got more room in there. So get rid of that and do the dot here and the dot there. Okay, so I've got two holes. And then we are going to give it um, a flash cure. Just a couple seconds, really. I want my bucket to be in gold. So at this stage, I am happy with this design. The rest is going to be done in gold, okay? So we need to apply High Shine No Wipe Top Gel over it. And the reason for it is I want to transfer some um, some foil gel and I need to do it on the surface which doesn't have any inhibition layer otherwise the foil will stick into other places as well so give it a cook the rose one is ready so I can just remove it you can hit the share button guys for me uh, I would really appreciate it I actually like this rose one it's really beautiful I'm using blue tack to attach those tips. Okay, now get the products away because you don't want them to go over too dusty. And then I'm going to buff it. So the reason why I need to buff it is uh, it's just easier to paint. Uh, I prefer it and also I will smooth out any imperfections. And then I'm going to add the gold detail into that, which is going to be fun. Okay, so to be able to do the gold detail, we are going to use the black gel. And it is a cold black foil, so gel art black foil. And the reason for it is it, it, it can be also used for transferring the foil. Okay, so that's what we are going to use it for now. I'm going to pick up a small, I'm going to clean my brush because it's contaminated with the other products. Okay, so clean my brush and then pick up this gel. I don't need lots of it. And then let's paint the detail which we want to do with gold. Okay, so I wanted the gold to go on the belt but I need to take into consideration that I've got some um, jeans holders which holding the bucket the the belt sorry okay so I want the gold line just above the belt because it's a really nice belt painting nice and thin line And then we are going to paint also the bucket. So the bucket is going to be larger and I wanted it to start in here. Okay, 
me then another one and another one Okay, so all these parts which we have painted uh, are going to be gold. Okay, now that's me happy with it, so I'm going to give it a cure. And I'm going to cure on the slow curing motion for 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the gold foil. And we are going to go for the rose gold. Because I feel it goes with the color which we have chosen here. Okay, I'm just cutting a small amount. If you're really fussy how you pick up the foil, like how the foil is going to transfer, you can clean it with the blue scrap, nail dehydrator, on the back of this foil. Okay, you always get some mess with it. Then once my tip is almost cured, I'm going to transfer it. So I'm placing a foil in between my fingers and I'm pressing quite um, strong without, with kind of ironing motion. So I kind of iron, but you cannot move your foil. So you cannot move your finger. You want to heat it up kind of uh, with the heat from your finger and then lift it up and you get those amazing results. Look, guys, so beautiful, okay? So I've got also a tiny bit in here. It was just like a touch of the black in there. So hold it and look what I'm doing. I'm kind of a little bit. And that's it, okay? So this way I have painted some gold bucket. Is it bucket? It is bucket. And we can apply the top coat so thank you cameraman uh, so achieving uh, designs like i love this gel for the very detailed designs if i want to trans i wouldn't use it for like a full coverage transfer foil so if i want to transfer those kind of foils with the design i would use this gel guys um, you wouldn't get uh, good results with that. This one is more for like detail, uh, very detailed work. Um, you want to paint, I don't know, butterfly freehand and then you want some parts to be uh, gold. Uh, the other one is more difficult because it's uh, clear in color and it's different consistency. So for like extremely beautiful um, detail, uh, I would use this one because you can paint it really nice and thin and very precise comparing to the clear gel, which is better for a full coverage foil because you wouldn't achieve full coverage with this one. Okay, I'm going to give it a cure and then that's all our jeans design ready. I hope you have guys um, really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comments below. It was um, requested actually months ago and I do guys really have a list of all the requests you are um, you are uh, giving to me and whenever I've got like time or feel like oh this is a great like I remember this girl was asking about this design uh, I want to produce it for you um, so you can keep those requests coming in and uh, I will always write them down and then when it's a turn for them I will produce them for you um, okay so that's the last one uh, which we have created I love this uh, 
gold accent in there. Uh, I hope you guys, oh, cameraman is showing like this. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like he likes it as well. He's terrible, guys. I tell you a secret. If I do some designs and, and it's like not perfect or whatever, he says like, oh gosh, this is so ugly. He was the one actually to, um, when I started a new, a new technician career, like in 2005, and I was... Uh, yeah, the most critic one, but I actually appreciated it as well. So when I have did the set of the Neos, like uh, I took a picture of it and then in the zoom camera, we was watching for any imperfection and he could pick up and say like, oh, you didn't file there or you didn't touch this place, uh, which was awesome actually because... Um, um, it wasn't in a bad way, uh, you know, like uh, he also comes to those advice as well to me when he does some post-productions of the videos, pictures and other stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, he's always uh, giving me a feedback on the work as well. You can do that, guys, as well. I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now.